Hey everybody, Matthew Larry here. I want to take a second to welcome you to Tuesday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. Now in 2020, my wife Amber and I are launching North Smoke Church. So all this week on the broadcast, we're talking to you about the vision of North Smoke Church. Now on yesterday's broadcast, we talked to you about the name North Smoke and what it means. Now to start today's broadcast, I want to give you the vision of North Smoke Church and it's this. We want to help people grow spiritually, be used of God mightily, and flourish personally in every area of their lives. I'm going to say it to you again. The vision of North Smoke Church is to help believers grow spiritually, be used of God mightily, and flourish personally in every area of their life. And on today's broadcast, I want to talk to you about that first part about growing spiritually. You know, friend, you and I, we are spirit beings. We have souls made up of our minds, our wills, and our emotions, and we live in physical bodies. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23, talked about us being sanctified, holy, spirit, soul, and body. So you and I are made up of three parts. Now, your spirit man, your inward man, has to develop just like your body has to develop. You know, when you're born again, when you get saved, when you make Jesus the Lord of your life, you're born a spiritual babe. In fact, in in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 1, it uses the phrase, babes in Christ. And so when you're born again, you're born a baby, and so you have to develop spiritually. Now, if you don't feed on the Word of God, and if you don't exercise the Word of God and put it into practice then you will stay a baby on the inside. You know, a person can be saved for 20 years, but if they're not feeding on the Word of God and putting it into practice in their lives, then they'll stay underdeveloped. They'll stay a baby. Now, the reason that you and I want to grow spiritually is because your development is going to affect the level of life you live, and it's going to affect the level to which God can use you. In other words, if you stay a baby, you're going to be whooped by the enemy in a lot of areas of your life. You're just not going to be able to walk in victory over him the way you should be able to. And then secondly, if you stay a baby, God is not going to be able to use you the way that he'd like to use you to the degree that he would like to use you. And so it should be very important to you and I that we grow spiritually. In fact, after you get born again, that should be the most important thing in your life is that I got to get trained up, I got to grow up, I got to develop so that I can do all that God's called me to do in my life and with my life. Now, here's the thing. God expects for you and I to grow up spiritually. You know, in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 14, it says this, that we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine. But speaking the truth in love, we may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. What's that verse saying? It's saying that we wouldn't be children anymore, but that we would grow up. You know, in Hebrews chapter 6, verse 1, in the Message Bible, it says this. So come on, let's leave the preschool finger painting exercise on Christ, and let's get on with the grand work of art, grow up in Christ. So you can see that God expects us to grow up. He expects us to develop on the inside, and it is not acceptable to Him that believers get saved and stay babies. No, you and I should be growing. We should be developing. We should be getting stronger on the inside. We should not be the same on the inside today as we were last year at this time. We should be getting stronger in the Word, stronger in faith. We should be maturing and developing on the inside and growing spiritually. Now, here's the thing. To grow spiritually, you need the meat of God's word and not just milk. You know, in Hebrews chapter 5, verse 13, it says this, For everyone who uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But strong meat belongs to them that are of full age. And so milk in this verse is representative of less difficult truths, less difficult principles that require less of you. You know, you could talk about encouragement. If you're sitting there listening to somebody tell you that God wants you blessed and God loves you and that God's for you, those are good things, 
But that is encouragement. That is milk. That doesn't require much of you. And you need milk and it's good, but it just doesn't require much of you. And that's why natural babies drink milk because it doesn't require much of them. It's easy to digest. They don't have to chew. They can take it in a bottle. And spiritually, the same thing is true. There are less difficult Christian truths, less difficult biblical principles that require less of you. But if you want to grow up spiritually, you have to come off of the milk of the word and start getting into the meat of the word. And the meat of God's word are more difficult Christian truths. And they're not difficult, more difficult because they're harder to understand. They're more difficult because they require more of you. So if you're getting instruction that's stretching you and challenging you, that would be meat. If you're getting correction that is getting into your life and getting into your business and saying, hey, you need to change. You need to not do this anymore. That's a level of meat. And friend, the only way to grow up spiritually and to develop spiritually is you have to get into the meat of God's word. And that's one of the, one of the things that we're going to major on at North Smoke Church. We're going to give you the meat of God's word so that you can grow up spiritually in the things of God. And the reason is this, is because your level of development and growing up spiritually is directly connected to the teaching that you receive. And if all you receive is milk, you're never going to grow up the way God wants you to grow up and get strong on the inside the way he wants you to get strong on the inside. So we're going to give you the meat of God's word so that you can grow up spiritually. It's good news, isn't it? Now, as we're closing today's broadcast, I want to remind you of these three things. Number one, you are a spirit being, and your spirit has to develop just like your body. Number two, God expects you to grow up spiritually. And number three, to grow up spiritually, you have to come off of the milk of the word and you have to get onto the meat of God's word. And that's what North Smoke Church is all about. We're going to give you the meat of his word so you can grow up spiritually in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Father, Lord, we thank you today that you want us to grow up spiritually. And so, Lord, we ask you today for the meat of your word. And we ask you, Lord, to help us to grow up spiritually so that we can walk in victory over the enemy and so that we can be used of you in a mighty way. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, thank you so much for watching today's broadcast. Hey, don't forget to come back tomorrow for Wednesday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We'll see you then. Hey, partners and friends, we are very excited to announce the launch of North Smoke Church this year. Now, the vision of North Smoke Church is to help you grow spiritually, be used of God mightily, and flourish personally in every area of your life. Starting January 19th through April the 5th, every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. at 3301 Harvard Place in Collinsville, we're going to be having launch services where you can find out more information about North Smoke Church. So we just want to invite you to join us as we begin this new adventure in faith. We hope to see you soon.